Hi guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they even started recording or not. Um, this is Katie with Spilling Paint. And <laughs> hopefully this will record. I'm just going to do these two tiles. It's going to be a short video. I'm going to test this out instead of trying to make a longer video like I've tried several times now. And the video stops recording or something else goes wrong. And yeah, so we're going to go a little bit of time. I'm going to do this little one. And then I'm going to do another little one and maybe put them together. <laughs> we'll see. So, on these tiles, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do little, like, dirty cup pours, I guess. And, uh, try to get kind of a marble effect. So, using a lot of black and white with a little splash of color in there. Uh, I think I'm... Only going to need one of these cups to do both of these tiles. We'll see. I think I'm going to start with black. This is Saks True Flow Heavy Body. And then I got a mix of purples because uh, it's leftover paints. It's a uh, there's Liquitex, there's Arteza, and some Montmartre, and I think some of the black as well. This might be kind of thick for a dirty cup. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Gold is some leftover paint. It was a uh, Blick Primary Yellow with Montmartre Copper and I think a little bit of the Saks White mixed in. It's a uh, it's metallic because of the copper. The purple's metallic too because of the Montmartre metallic purple that's in there. This is Arteza Emerald Green mixed with the Saks White to lighten it up a bit and then we've got this which is a mix of the Saks White, the Saks Black and a little bit of Arteza Silver and that's all the colors here there, I think there was Floetrol in a couple of these because like I said they were leftover paints um, Guess we'll see. Once it's poured down, I did get some cells and some other ones, but there's also Floetrol in these, which I don't actually usually use Floetrol. Uh, it's a new mix I'm trying. Cause typically I just do the 70-30 uh, Elmore's Blue Wall to water. But I just, I, I struggle with cells, struggle getting cells. Um, some of them turn out great, uh, but a lot of times I just can't get cells to form or hold their shape or grow. <laughs> so I know Floetrol helps with cells, can make cells on its own. So hopefully, it'll, whenever I'm doing a flip cup or something, it'll help with that. But not really aiming for cells here, of course. But, uh, well, not of course. It's, well, the marbled look, you don't really want cells in there. But we'll see. I think we'll do... more black and white and just top it off there. How about that? Um, I am, I don't have a stick over here. Grab a stick here. I am going to just do this. 
not trying to get it to really mix, but I'll set that right there. And uh, I guess let's pour. Getting sort of a <laughs> ring pour look. I'm just gonna go straight with this one, see how it turns out. And that was more than enough paint. That might be enough left for another tile. Not really seeing my colors, except for the silver bit, and there's a little bit of green there, but. I like this, uh, I like the rings here. Not really a marbled look like I was wanting, but uh, I do like the ring pours. It's a lot of gray, because the black and white, of course, mixed. I did lose a lot of my colors. There is a bit of green. Let's tilt this one. Of course, I traveled more with this one. Come on, get down there. There we go. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like how that one turned out. Let me try. I really should catch my drips. Oh well. Got more purple on this one. And a lot more cells. I think I want to try to pour that off. Where I didn't catch my drips. It'll bring that green down more too. Come on, just a little bit more. Yeah, that, that's good enough. Got most of that. Got a lot of purple here, mostly gray here. You can kind of see like a tint of the gold, but it's it's not showing through very well. And my phone is going off. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, you know what? I am going to do two more. Move these. Grab some more tiles. Yeah, that's probably not necessary. Okay. I uh, don't think I want to reuse the cup. Let's try this again. Let's start with white and I'm going to do a little bit more on the colors. Purple. Black. Gold. And I'm wanting white and black to be the predominant 
colors you see. We'll see how it turns out. And if this video is successful, it'll be my first video. <laughs> And I have said that on just about every video I've made so far, and none of them have been successful. So, fingers crossed that this app works and won't cut off mid-video on me. Because that's just not fun. I was sitting here just talking away. <clears throat> I might be doing just now because I can't see whether I'm recording or, or not. I do have it set to where there's no time limit. Hopefully that setting works correctly. Oops. But be sitting here talking away only to look up and find out 20 minutes into the video that it only recorded 10 minutes of video. And I was standing here talking to myself, which I'm still kind of sort of doing, but I mean, y'all yeah, will hear this. So I'm not, I'm not talking to myself. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. I probably shouldn't even put that color in because of the black and white, but oh well. We'll leave it at that. Because I know this is plenty of paint. And... Again, I'm not doing a marble effect, but that's okay, because I like these rings. But my hands are not steady. Oh, I didn't catch all the drips, but oh well. But I'm getting color now. That is a lot of gold. Would love it if another color came out now. Yep, I'm gonna keep pouring and talking. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. Uh, there's some purple at least. This one's gonna have way too much paint on it, but I wanna pour off most of that gold. Uh, whoops, that's okay. Set that aside. air bubbles. I'm going to tilt this one first because it's off balance. <laughs> Some cups sticking to it. Yeah. I'm just getting a lot of gray in there. Because the black and white is just mixing. Oh, there goes the cup. There goes all of the gold. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Mmm. Mmm. I like the outer areas, but I messed up there, and that green is doing weird stuff. I wish I could just keep that. That looks cool. But it is not going to dry well. Unfortunately. I am going to try to. At least this one's got some white and black in it. Can get down in the back corner a bit.
that corner. Come on, you're almost there. That one's not bad. I really like where the white meets the green and the black and and goes in with the gold. Very pretty. That one. Let's see if I can save it. It's pretty. All right, let's go again. Yeah, this is this is better. More cells than I really want, but. It is storming outside. So if you hear rain, that's why. <laughs> I, I think I like this one most. I really like the white coming in. It's very pretty. I, I really need to just mix up new paints so I don't risk there being silicone in there. And maybe just make a batch of the glue and water for this so, I, so the flow draw doesn't make cells. On the other hand, another perk to the flow troll is it's self-leveling. And I've had issues with paintings coming out looking a little bumpy because the paint didn't level out very well. But that's okay. Some of them still turn out alright. Well, while it is still recording, I guess I'm not going to do another painting. Uh, I will show you ones I did, I'll show you one I did yesterday that I attempted to record, but it had stopped recording, <laughs> which is aggravating. Let me grab that. And it is mostly dry. It's a Dutch pour, and it's got the, uh, Saks Flow Black, and this is all, I think most of it's metallics. The red may not be, um, but I think, well, no, I think I actually did mix the metallic into them. I think these were all, I mixed my own orange with the Blick Bright Red and, bright red and the Blick Primary Yellow, and then the red, I mixed in a bit of Montmartre magenta to add a add the metallic, which made it look more pink than red. The yellow, I think I added a little silver, and the orange, I think I added a little silver. I wanted a bunch of metallics, and uh, I think it looks nice. Uh, it's metallic -y, you know. <laughs> so that's the one I did yesterday. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it. This is going to be my first try. Hopefully, go again tomorrow. Maybe later today. Depends on lighting, because I'm very quickly losing lighting because of the storm going on outside. Because i got a window <laughs> right here where I'm getting most of my lighting. Uh, until I can get some actual lights in here, other than my ceiling light and the lamp I have. But, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like it. 
feel free to share. Uh, check out Spilling Paint on Facebook. That's where you'll see all of my paintings and painting failures and uh, where you can buy paintings uh, that are done by me. And uh, yeah, thanks so much.